Here's another example of finding the inverse of a matrix using raw operations. In this case, the matrix to invert is four by four. We assume you've mastered the three by three case. For here, we're just gonna have a little extra bookkeeping. Now, for the overview, what I'm gonna to wanna to do, we're take our A matrix, we're gonna augment it with the four by four identity matrix. And we perform row operations until we get to the augmented matrix where we have the four by four identity matrix in the first slot. What comes out of the second slot will be our inverse matrix. Now, when we perform our row operations, the pattern I wanna follow for setting up what happens on the left, I want a one in the upper left-hand corner, as in the three by three case. We're gonna work down each column, starting at the diagonal entries. Okay, so we go down, come up to here, down, come up to here, and then over. Then we're just gonna work our way around, okay, with all zeros, taking a little detour to this entry here. Now, I won't review the row operations, since I'm hoping you have the three by three case under control. So I start by augmenting our matrix with the four by four identity. We note, I want a one up here, which we have, and then I want all zeros beneath. So we want to eliminate these two twos here. You could do that by taking row three, subtracting off two row one, making that the new row three. Take row four, subtract off two row one, make that the new row four. So that gets us to this step. Now, here, we already have our one that I want in the next diagonal entry. So I'm gonna eliminate the two here and then we'll do a switch. To do that, I'm gonna take row two, replace it with row two minus twice row three. Then we're gonna switch row two and row three. So that's gonna get these two rows here like this. Now, we have this one where we want it. With a little bit of foresight, we'd rather use this one here. So we'll eliminate this one. Okay, I'm going to send row three minus row four to row three. Then I'll use the two to eliminate this two here. So we're going to send row four minus row three to row four. Now, I can switch row three and row four, divide the new row four by two, and that gets us to this step here. So all I need to do now is to eliminate this minus one and this one, and then we'll have our A inverse. So we're gonna send row two plus row four to row two to eliminate this, row one minus row four to row one, and that gets our four by four identity matrix in the first slot. So this matrix is our A inverse. Now, we check our work. So we'll take our A inverse, multiply it by our original A, and we expect to get back the identity matrix. So if we work that out, we see that this is in fact checking our work. 